All right, let's roll. Okay, uh, a red car right there is Jody Ann Greenwood. She's an attorney representing the slumlord, Raymond G. Taylor. And you're seeing on the left here, you're seeing a Galveston County Health District, the basically a, a type of a Texas EPA. And when they come here because of a violent felon, a level three alert, they have two constables with them because he's denied access to these EPA people three times. And I'm so mad about that, I can't see straight. He gave them, they gave him months of notice. They wouldn't, every time they came out here, he ran them off. And, uh, and I told them the very first time to bring the police and a warrant. Well, they wouldn't do that, okay? So the, the last time they came, my attorney kept after them, and then they still left. So then Johnson and his half-brother went back there and tried to clean up. But I've got all the evidence on video and pictures of extreme amounts of automotive fluid. Just a little closer. Okay. They're going to come out here. There's a constable. I got this at half play. Let me, let me speed it up a little bit. There you go. And when I, I seen them over there, I wasn't here when they came, so I didn't get to pin my camera over there because I wanted to see if they took soil samples, and I don't think they have. Okay, there's Mr. and Mrs. Johnson coming out there. Here comes another constable just to make sure. Well, my attorney told me that they, if they suspect something like that, to come on your property, they don't need a warrant. Go in your house or your garage, yes. But they can, they can go on the property without a warrant. So, gracious. If I had more time, I would come up there and show them how to run their operation. I come down on these people like ninjas. Like airborne rangers or something, you know what I mean? I wouldn't take no crap off of damn renter bums. I'm going to speed this up double time. Okay, now they're going to go over here. I think I got out of it. Yep, I did. I blew myself out. There we go. Now we're back. Okay, let me fast forward this a little bit, catch up to where we're at. This is them coming back up again. We already went through this. Let's see this piece right here where they...
Okay, now they're all going to go over here. And I don't think they did a very so, a, a thorough inspection. I don't see any soil sample kits with this guy. I think they stepped inside the fence and then they walked away. Ah, oh, I can't win for losing. What to do, drag them by the damn ear and put their nose in it? Like I said, they done missed this four times. He's had so much warning. And then we had rain and rain and rain and rain. They didn't stay in there very long. It's as far as they went. There's the constables and Mr. Johnson right there. See how long they stay in here. I don't think it's very long. I can only pray that they get the sample that I'm looking for after six years of fluids being dumped in there. You see my other videos with, the, with that mess coming down through there. It drained out oil right into the dam and they washed it into the drain. I got a video of that, I guess, but uh, that's not admissible. I guess they're back there looking around. Like I said, I wasn't here when I was there. I put the camera in on them. And don't tell me it's evasion of privacy because there's nothing the camera couldn't see that you could see standing there at the street if that illegal junkyard fence wasn't there. Thank you, Van Stavern. I pray every night for a state police investigation into that woman and why she's been aiding and protecting these people. If I ever get in front of the detective, I'm going to lay it all out for him. I want a forensic investigation of that whole code enforcement division up there. Something wonky up there. I can only imagine what that pathological liar is telling them. One way or another, one way or another, his son Avante has been charged with terroristic threats against me. You can see that on the video. People riding illegal motorcycles up and down the street. I guess maybe he did take a sample or something or some pictures. Maybe he's going to get some residue. That's where a lot of that crap was. What slays me is people look at that mess behind there and they turn their nose up and they go, that's disgusting. And then the people in the town here, I said, would you like that in your front yard? And they, they won't look me in the eye. They'll turn their face away. Sat right down there with Mayor Bell. He called me to his office a week before the election and told me we had to go through channels because he didn't have any control over code enforcement. I'll tell you what, man. If we don't get rid of these stinking Democrats, this country is done. She's taking pictures there. I ain't much of a soil sample. I don't know how you're going to analyze that. My biggest wish is that they find that this is a toxic waste dump and that that driveway has got to be torn up and all that soil has to be dug up and replaced and put back the way it was, just like it was in this clean lower middle class subdivision. One of the most decent subdivisions in Lamarck. None of those cars belong to him. You're only supposed to have two cars on the street in Lamarck. And he's had up to nine or ten for years, a Crown Vic used to sit down at the end here so these people couldn't get out, make it difficult from them. 
76-year-old sick people. That's one of the biggest things I lost. He drove out my beloved neighbors of 30 years. <clears throat> they couldn't take the harassment anymore. The abuse, the verbal abuse that was given to his wife. The sex of threats, sexual threats, threats of sexual violence. Okay, I guess that's about the end of it. Okay, I'm going to show you, show you what, what, what they were looking at behind there. He's been evicted three times for running this garage. Possibly four. I couldn't tell from the, uh, the sheriff's records. That's what's behind there. And on back behind that garage, there's all kind of tires full of roaches and rats. This is where he's been repairing cars here in the street for six years. <laughs> Rain did a good job, didn't it? Thank you, Health District. I don't want this filthy shit in front of my house anymore. Do you understand me, Mayor Bell? And Wayne, no good. Yancey. You put it in front of your house if it's so wonderful. Delon Delafosse is the understanding of a small child. The gentleman can repair cars if he want to. What a stupid, ignorant, vapid bent. All right, that's enough for that.